Eddie White here for Pacers.com and BankersLifeFieldhouse.com. And look who I got with me. He's in action tonight at Bankers Life Fieldhouse with the gang from the WWE, the great Ryback, Mr. Ryback. Can I call you Mr.? That is fine by me. I have no problem with that at all. Okay, because I don't want to upset you. That's I get upset pretty easily, but I, I won't at that. Oh, my God, he gets upset very easily. This could be the quickest interview in the history of our show. Uh, a couple of things I want to ask you about. You know, back in the day, uh, I used to talk to the guys like the football players that played on Monday Night Football, and they got an extra, especially Dan Marino, got an extra – you know, jumping a step when he was going on Monday night football as yeah. the, you know, playing Buffalo at Sunday at 1 o'clock. Monday night, tonight, national television, all the lights, the fans, the crowd's going to be unbelievable. Do you same way you get a little bit extra in you? Yeah, uh, Monday night Raw TV days, you know, it's WrestleMania season right now, but Monday nights are just, in, they're electric and we're live on TV. It's, there's everyone uh, is on their A game. And like, you know, I'm going on zero sleep right now and I, I am excited for tonight. Uh, we got Brock Lesnar, who's never been here in Indiana. Indianapolis, Undertaker's first time back in three years, and then you got me, Sheamus, and John Cena taking on the Shield in the main event. So it's going to be an action-packed night all around. And you work three hours a day. We work out three hours a day. Do you do that e even on a day of an event like this? To that day like today is I got to go to the building after this, so I'm not going to get to work out today as I had media from 6 a.m. on. Uh, but usually I try to work out literally seven days a week. It's something I'm very big on that physical exertion. I need to be in there doing something. But a day like today, uh, I got to take off and go in there and uh, I'll do some stretching at the arena and uh, get some eating and uh, go from there. Take your jacket off a second. I want to check something. Yep. You see, you didn't work out today. So I'm a, for you friends out there, especially my wife and the women, I got to, you know what? You got to work out because there's, I feel softness there. No, it's uh, every day. I go do everything from hand grips to my neck twice a week. Uh, everything I'm big. If it's part of the body, it needs to be worked out. And I, I want to be i want to be my best at all times. So I'm literally in the gym yesterday. You can see the calluses on my hands. I, I do hand grips for about 20, 30 minutes before I even start my workout. Just to, I'm big on just overall development. So, What do you eat? What's your favorite meal? Steak was my favorite meal until I recently had to give up all red meat because my cholesterol is a little bit high. But uh, right now it's chicken, turkey, and fish, and uh, oatmeal, sweet potatoes, brown rice. I'm very repetitive. Uh, I eat to feel and look good, uh, you know, so it, it's not a lot of sweets and things like that. But every once in a while, if I'm a little low on the calories, uh, you know, I'll have a Rice Krispie treat or something every once in a while. But pretty strict on that end. We don't have a lot in common, of course. Um, see, my diet's like pizza. My, my, yeah. my philosophy is you can't pull fat. Yeah. You know, so I think I'm relatively healthy. If, you, if you've stayed healthy that way, then more power to you. So it's... One of our great patients is this guy back here, big Roy guy, Hibbert, yeah. the big guy. What would you do if you got in the ring with a guy who's that tall? Yep. I mean, did you have to think differently than maybe you're going up against the George Hill? Absolutely not. I would give him a meat hook clothesline right around the neck. And I'd give him a boot and hook him for the shell shock, one, two, three. No different than fighting a guy that size. And if your jersey said Miami Heat, you wouldn't get called for the foul on that one. <laughs> uh, that's a joke for Pacer fans. They're going to get that. A serious question. I grew up, and I'm older than you, but I grew up with some of my favorites back in the day, Bruno San Martino and Grilla Monsoon, those guys. When you were a little guy, I can't imagine you being a little guy, yeah. uh, who were your favorites? Uh, it's funny you bring that up. Uh, I loved guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Those guys were, were two of my favorites. But Razor Ramon was one of my all-time favorites. And I remember listening to his theme music over and over again. And when he would come out, I would get beyond excited. It was a, always a thrill for me. Every pay-per-view he would come out. That was my favorite match. It didn't matter what he was involved in. Uh, and he's recently, he's, I actually just moved in with Diamond Dallas Page. Him and Jake Roberts are getting cleaned up and DDP's done an amazing job with him and he's turning his life around and actually fans can donate, you know, for he needs a hip replacement uh, before he can go on with everything. So uh, hopefully if you can check out that with uh, DDP and the Razor Ramon, uh, it's called uh, Bringing Back the Bad Guy, I believe. Uh, and you could donate to that and I'd like to see him back on his feet and, and healthy again because he's making some positive changes to his life but that was the man when I was a kid. You were a class act. We're so Thank glad to much. have you here in Indiana. One last thing. Coop, get ready for this one. We're going to go out with this one. Hey, give me one of them things but don't kill me. Which you know, one of the? Which? You know, I want, I, want, I, want to, I want you like where you look like you're killing me but don't kill me. You know, where I'm uh, kind of... No physicality. I'm not allowed to put my hands on anyone. I have been Oh, really? Instructions not to touch anyone uh, probably because they'll get hurt. So, uh, but I can 
can give you a feed me more to go off the air if you'd like. Give me a feed. Well, first of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as okay. You, you, you're afraid of me, so I can. I can with this guy on camera, please. I'm say afraid it. I might hurt you. That's, that's, well, that, that's good. I'll take that. Give me one. Look right in that camera and give it to Indiana. Feed me more tonight. Banker's life. He'll be there.